Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do a what if video. Yes, we haven't done a what if video in a very long time. This was a series I started sometime last year. Um, got a lot of good response. I had a lot of requests and I never really went back to it. And I've been thinking to myself, it would be fun to get back into this because there's so many what if scenarios. And what better way to reestablish the what if series than with a Godzilla topic? Of course. So this one is what if Godzilla never existed? And when I say that, I mean in terms of cinema, if he had never come to be at all, like we wouldn't have any Godzilla movies, no 28 movies, no Godzilla 2014, nothing. What if? So what would that, where would that leave us? So, well, first of all, the question here is what kaiju would we latch onto? Now, remember, in this scenario, only Godzilla doesn't exist. This doesn't mean that all the Togo monsters don't exist or other kaijus don't exist. So the question here is which monster would we likely latch onto in a what if scenario of Godzilla not existing? So I had to think about this for a while because there's a lot of Toho monsters I really like. You know, I love Ghidorah. Ghidorah is one of my favorite monsters. Uh, you know, uh, I, 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 I'm a big Mega Godzilla. You know, even though he's not technically a monster, he's a, obviously a robot, but still he's in the kaiju genre. He is considered a kaiju to some extent. So, um, but I think, I think me personally, I would probably, probably latch on to Gamera because, um, that was another monster I really enjoyed growing up. Uh, and obviously, uh, during the 90s, got a lot more popular with some three very good movies. And now it seems that he's going to be having another movie again. So I think myself, if there was no Godzilla, I think I would be latching on to Gamera and maybe probably Ghidorah as a monster that I really, really like if there was no no uh, Godzilla. The question is, would there be, with any of these kaijus, rise to prominence like Godzilla would or Godzilla did in this scenario? So, like, we know that now Godzilla's obviously the number one monster in the world. Everybody knows him. A lot of people love him. Some people think he's whatever the case may be. The fact of the matter is he's a household name. The question is, if he didn't exist... Who would be the household name? See, as much as, even though I say I would latch on to Gamera as a fan, I don't see Gamera rising to prominence the way Godzilla did because Godzilla, his movie was a message. That's what really, really got people's attention was his very first movie, the message, the messages sent, the fear it struck in people, and then people followed the monster as he grew throughout the years. People like myself, you. So I don't know if Gamera would have done that. I don't think Gamera would have done that. Not only because he didn't have a signature movie like that. I mean, he had his own movie, but it didn't have quite the impact Godzilla did. Um, not to mention he's a turtle. You know what I mean? Over the years, that would have become more and more cheesy. And even though he's had some great movies, especially in the 90s, once again, I don't think he would have, um, I don't think he would have rose to prominence. I think another creature, I think if there was one creature or one monster that would have had that chance, um, maybe Mothra. I hate to say that, you know, I know a lot of people don't like Mothra too much. I'm not a huge Mothra fan, but something tells me that would have been probably the monster that had the best chance. And even then, I personally don't feel that Mothra would have rose to prominence either, because uh, while her movies were more, you know, like mystical and magic and fantasy and all that, the fairies and all that stuff. I think the important thing here is the message uh, that got the, the movie Godzilla sent. So what if Godzilla didn't exist? We, we still would have the Gamblers of the world, the Ghidorahs and Mothras and all these other monsters. It would have been a big battle royal in Toho. No monster would have, maybe Mothra, but outside of that, no monster really would have rose to fame. The question is, would we have even gotten many other monsters um, at all? You know, when you consider how popular Godzilla was, uh, they had to obviously make monsters as they went along. Uh, another thing to consider, too, is that maybe King Kong, maybe Toho's version of King Kong would have great, uh, gained huge popularity. And perhaps they could have worked something out with America uh, to have their own version, or maybe they would have made their own version. You know, it's hard. It's really hard to tell because outside of all the other monster movies, just none of them have ever sent the message and struck fear the way the 54 Godzilla movie did. And I think that's why Godzilla really rose to fame was, you know, that was so many, so many years after Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And I just don't know if any other monster would have really, really grabbed the attention of the audiences the way Godzilla did in 1954. And even though a lot of his movies did not uh, match that, kind of uh, of quality uh, he was such a uh, such a different monster you know and because of the fact that yes he does resemble a huge t-rex the two little arms and you know t-rex is a very popular dinosaur you put all those things together and, and i think that's why he gained so much popularity but if he didn't exist i don't know if there would have been a monster to do the same thing um 
But I know personally, I would have latched on to Gamera and a, a, at least several Toho monsters. And I don't know if, if we would be talking about kaijus today if Godzilla didn't, didn't exist. We don't even know if, if that would be a genre that was done anymore. I think a lot of other people would have latched on to like Ultraman and, and uh, a Gamera as well. I think there would have been other monsters that people latched on to, like Mothra, as I said, I think would have been a big popular one. But in the end, if Godzilla didn't, didn't exist, there is a very good chance we wouldn't be talking kaiju anymore. There would, would be a very good chance that ETN would be maybe have 1,500 subscribers still. So, <laughs> but um, no, it's an interesting thing I thought about the other day and I wanted to make a video about it and I wanted to hear you guys' thoughts. So please, share in the comments below. What do you think? What if Godzilla did not exist in cinema and other media? Would you still be a kaiju fan? What monster would you latch onto? And who do you think would have had the best chance to rise in prominence like Godzilla did and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description. You're watching ETN. Share and subscribe. Hey, guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do a what if video. Yes, we haven't done a what if video in a very long time. This was a series I started sometime last year. Um, got a lot of good response. I had a lot of requests and I never really went back to it. And I've been thinking to myself, it would be fun to get back into this because there's so many what if scenarios. And what better way to reestablish the what if series than with a Godzilla topic? Of course. So this one is what if Godzilla never existed? And when I say that, I mean in terms of cinema, if he had never come to be at all, like we wouldn't have any Godzilla movies, no 28 movies, no Godzilla 2014, nothing. What if? So what would that, where would that leave us? So, well, first of all, the question here is what kaiju would we latch on 